In this video, I'm going to be replacing this builder's grade toilet with a customer supplied American Standard toilet and replacing the existing push on shutoff valve. Anytime you're replacing a toilet or pulling and resetting, it is very important that you replace the wax seal, the closet bolts, and the supply line. If there's an older multi turn shutoff valve or one of these push on valves, I replace those as well. I crimped on a half inch Vega male adapter here and an FIP angle stop, that way in the future it'd be easy to replace. Next, I scrape off all the old wax to start with a clean surface and remove the existing bolts. I then remove the old caulking on the floor and clean up the area. The homeowner will probably never see underneath the toilet, but it's always nice to go ahead and clean it anyways. I use these self-adjusting closet bolts, which are really nice because as you tighten them down, it screws the bolt down as well, so you don't have to cut anything. Once the new bolt and wax ring are in place, you're good to go ahead and set the new toilet. Once the toilet's in place, you want to go ahead and tighten down the bolts to make sure everything's secured to the floor. If there is any movement or if it does rock, you can always use shims as well to level it off. Once everything's secured and where I want it, I go ahead and install the new supply line and turn the water on. Once the water's on, I go ahead and test the toilet with a couple flushes. Once I verify that there's no leaks, I go ahead and caulk around the base. I always leave a little gap in the back, that way in the future if there's a leak, it'll show up. 